Hey guys, welcome back. I'm popping on to do a layout for the scrap room and I'm using the cutest collection. It is Seaside Summer by Doodlebug and it is a flavor of the month kit for September 2022. Look at the crab. Sorry, total digression. So the cutest papers, bright, happy, cheerful, colorful, all of those kind of things. I mean, the sun has cute little pink cheeks. So cute, right? So I have that. I've got some of the gems. Um, mine are in orange. I think the colors vary. And then I have a nice smattering of these great die cuts, which I think, what do they call them in Doodlebug Land? In Doodlebug Land, they refer to them as odds and ends and chit chat. I have a mix of both. Great. All right. So what I thought I would do is at the scrap room, we have access to a cut file every month from Gwen at Cut You. And the one that she sent over, it's this really cute sailboat. I so hope you can see it well on the camera. And the word this summer. So how great is that? I've got a title, got the giant, super cute, amazing sailboat, all good to go. So I also have these two photos. I'm going to use two. I'm going to use one. I don't know yet. We're just going to see how it goes, but I have two that are super cute. It's my son and his girlfriend, and they are on Lake Michigan. And if you haven't been there, it looks like the ocean. Looks fab, doesn't it? So cute. So what I'm going to do is, obviously, I'm going to pop off my cut file. I also have another piece of smooth white cardstock. It is in coconut swirl. I'm going to go ahead and get my cut file off and start backing it. So I just have to figure out, ooh, maybe I'll do the whole this summer word in the blue. And then I will start working on my sailboat. I think it's so darn cute. So it's going to take me a minute to do the backing, but I will be back in your time in just a second. Well done. All right, y'all. So I have backed my cut file. Look at how cute the patterns are in the flavors of the month kit. I just can't. They are so incredibly cute. I need to cut the branding strip off of this piece of coconut swirl cardstock. So let me go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm going to map this yet. I have no clue where I'm going to go with that. Now, I did go ahead and look at all the cute little die cut pieces, ephemera pieces. What are they called with Doodlebug? Odds and ends and chit chat pieces. And I just pulled out the ones that I thought would work for my project. Does not mean, oop, I have some adhesive. Does not mean I'm using all of them, but I always like to separate what can work and what won't work and all that. And have my photo go about there-ish. I don't want to cover too much of the patterns, but I want the photo to be a part of it. So let's see. Now to start, I think this is so cute. Look at the little wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and have this right about there-ish. Let's see what else we can have. This guy is something else. I would have him sit on the top of this if I had room, but I don't. Hmm. He's looking off too much over there. I think I'll have him sit there. I'm going to have to get some dimensional adhesive. Not a big deal. Now these guys, which would be great, um, but they have to be way down under here. And once again, my cut file, I cut it so big, I'm not going to have the room for that. How about... Guys, I don't know. I think I just like those and I'm going to I'm going to put these just to the side for now. And my gems, I'm going to come in at the very end. That's fine. That is fine. I know I want to use these for sure. I know I like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pattern paper add-on kit. Cuz that's my next step I like to do. Now I have this one here having a ball and it has all of these banners. Really cute, 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 cute polka dots. This one is a stripe called Beach Blanket. Yeah, look at that. Totally makes sense to have this with this. Although even if I put it on there, 
you won't necessarily see much of the sailboats, but you can see all of the colors. So I'm going to mat it in that. I'm going to do that. And is there anything I can think to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this strip right here. And I think I'll go ahead and put it on the bottom as if the boat is in this underwater landscape and layer it on top. Let me go ahead and cut that piece out because it's, you know, cute <laughs> is the whole reason why. And to start, I'm going to cut it out with a little brown wood grain strip that's below it as well as this one with the pinky hearts. Oh, I have to trim it just a little bit better. I'm going to do that to see if I need something to break up the blue a little bit or who knows, maybe I'll just trim it off. We're going to see in just a moment. Let's see. There we go. Because that could be cute, cute, cute. I've got some dimensional adhesive under here and a little bit of it sticky. So if I do this, the only issue I'm going to have is I have to cut down my white paper. So I'm going to lose a little bit of the wordy bits, but they repeat, so it'll be fine. Okay, I really like that vibe, like it's in the water. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to back it on this cute pattern paper and I'll be right back. All right, so I have all of those bits and pieces and chit chat, all that good stuff on. I matted my my background. I have this adorable piece down here that my little boat is floating in. So next, let's go to the Shots of Life kit. I have, ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, this one is called Let's Luau. So I've got all of these great patterns. And I've got this. And I really kind of dig the idea of getting this pink on here. I think that would make it pop off of these other patterns. So let's see. If I use, I want to make sure that I keep, you know, the patterns around it that I like the most. So I'm just going to cut out this bit and use it, meaning this, for my matting. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, let me see really quickly while I'm doing that. Oh, look, that's the same pattern as that. Cute. <laughs> I have that pink. I've got the floral going. I just want to make sure if I want to grab any of these other little patterns while I'm at it. I mean, that yellow is very, very nice and it picks up the sand. Oh my goodness. These, the problem is they're all very cute. All right. I'm going to mat it on this little green piece first and then the flip side of this, which is the pink. So I'm going to mat it on both. And then the embellishment that comes with the Shots of Life kit is a six by 12 with the little stickers. So we're gonna see what we can add on with that in just a moment. All right, so I have those pieces down. I've double matted my photo with the paper from the Shots of Life kit. I think I'm gonna grab this little fishy rather quickly. And this was in the Flavors of the Month kit. And now that I have this little water scene down here, I feel like he has a place to go which I usually don't like to have things swim off, but that's the orientation he's in. That's how it is. Now I could obviously use my little turtle piece that I adore. Would it be better if I did that? I think the greens are kind of not contrasty enough for what I want, but guys, that is so cute. Ugh. Should I do that? Yes, I'm, I'm really kind of having an issue with him swimming off the page. See, this is, this is the way the little crafter's brain works because I know it would bug me. So we've got little turtle guy right there, hoping it doesn't look like he's being run over by the boat because that would be bad. Okay, I have that going on. Now, I've got these stickers from the Shots of Life kit and I'm wondering if there is, oh guys, look at that toucan. He is cute. Ooh, I can always use a camera. I love a camera. I can't really put it there, but I can pop it right here. That's cute. Just something on the wordy bits. Now, I wonder if there's something that can sit there. Now, my little seagull is in the same orientation as that, and I wanted something to be looking over here. I'm wondering 
Oh, come here, Mr. Flamingo. Okay, guys, <laughs> that's so cute. All right, I want to get a couple little pop dots to pop this up. I don't think I'm going to need a huge amount more because this thing is so stinking cute. But we're, we're just playing. Oh, I don't want to hurt his little neck. He is cute. I'm having him. Oh, there's a little bit between the legs there. Let's take that up. Kind of sit or stand, as it were, on his turtle friend. For no good reason. There we go. It's just cute. I love flamingos. I think they're adorable. So we have that. Let's see what else. Oh, a little SBF is cute. That can just stick out because it's cute. That's the whole reason why with that. Now I'm kind of digging all of this blue space and I don't see any clouds or anything. All right, I think I'm good guys. These houses are amazing. Okay, so finally, let's go to the embellishment kit and see if there's anything that I can work in from the embellishment kit. Uh, let's see, let's see. Guys, I loved these brackets when I did the unboxing. Ooh, look at this piece. It says, let the summer fun begin. Oh, absolutely. Let's pop that on. Get a couple of my little dots. The dots, these peel off so easily, guys. I love them. That is cute. Be kind of cute if he was saying that, but we are just going to have to have my son do the talking. Maybe right there. Bringing the yellow up just a little bit too, which is fun. I'll put some gems, I think, when the time comes for that. So anything, ooh, sunshine, summer, vacay. I don't have much brown, so I'm not gonna bring in the brown for a vacay, but I would definitely have done that. Now, we have words. I like the idea. I wish they weren't both yellow. Though that word sunshine, I would have put that right there. Absolutely. So I will go ahead and just tuck summer. I guess, okay, let's see. I do have, you know what? I have the brown in here. So let me tuck this vacay word. So it'll read summer vacay. I think that would be really cute. There we go. I don't love this little bit sticking off there, and I know it's not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim off that end anyway. Because if it bugs me, it bugs me. It's just how it is. Unless I go like that. Ooh, I like that even better. Now I trimmed it for no reason. That's okay. Okay, summer vacay. So I have things in you know different depths right there that I like. Okay, those were a big when I have all of that, I have this cute little scene over here. I definitely want to get, let me go ahead and put my gems on. Let me see. Wait, this summer, should I use the word together? This summer, ba 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 ba. Why don't I grab this word memories and I pop it right here on just a little bit of a foamy strip as an extension of that title, kind of like a, I don't know, it's not even a secondary title, but it just goes with it pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and pop that down. So just a few goodies for my embellishment kit, and I think they really work though. There we go. So it's bringing some of the white. I love it, love it, love it. I think that's really cute. All right, I'm gonna pop some of the gems on that were part of the Flavors of the Month kit. Got big and little, okay. Oh, they're so cute, the little gems. I'll, I'll bring it up in just a second so you can see them brighter. Right there, let me use two little ones on this one maybe. They look like bubbles, cute. And then I will do Want it? I'd put it right here, but it always looked like an animal is doing something that we don't want on our scrapbook page. That's all. That's all I'm saying with that.
like that. And a, a cute little dot going kind of towards the middle of them. And I went a little bit closer. All right, that is this layout done. I think it is so fun and happy and bright and cheerful. See how those are at different levels? I like that. The great cut file from Cut to You. Gwen is a master of the cut file. So that is fun. And then I've got this cute little cluster down here. I mean, the gems totally make it so stinking cute. All right, that is this layout done. I hope you like what I put together. I will have links down below for all of the scrap room stuff like the website, the blog, and the Facebook group. So you can join us when you have time over there and share what you've done with these projects. All right, guys, still shots to follow, and I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now.